Hi and welcome to the vlog. Um, it's been a while and today I'm going to share with you my other interest which is aeroplanes. Um, I'm really passionate about World War II slash World War One planes and I like to collect models and stuff of them. So enjoy the video. My dad's boss um, gave us a RC DR1 and uh, we uh, it had its top wing had came off because it was a triplane and uh, we put that back on and stuff and we glued it all together got everything running and all that got battery and it took a really long time to get all the like transmitter receiver the battery the transmitter receiver had it took a long time because it was coming from Hong Kong and stuff. So that took a while and first time we flew it, it crashed straight into the ground after the first second. I don't even think it was a full second, I think it just came straight into, it just went straight into the ground. Yeah, and I was not happy, I was not very happy. Stand away from it, you're just going to throw it nice and gently like that, but not until I say go, okay? So hold it tight because it's going to want to go. Go. <laughs> so after the DR1 crashed, my dad ordered uh, um, a flight test plane. Um, flight test is a YouTube channel that make RC planes complete out of scratch with foam board, and they put like some of their builds onto the onto their um, website and you can buy them like it's all cut out things and you just need to get like the motor and stuff but yeah so we got one of those and it has been built really well and it was quite easy to make and stuff so yeah and uh, first time we flew it it was it flew for quite it flew quite well and yeah so shout out to flight test Thank you for the awesome plane. Um, so flight test really got me um, inspired into flying RC planes. I was watching some of their videos and stuff and they have done some really cool things. You should watch their videos there. It's really cool. This, the Mighty Mini Scout, it's a free channel plane. And if you don't know what free channel means, it's got rudder, elevator, um, and throttle so basically it can just go up down um, and turn and stuff and then go can go forward um, what I really like about this plane is it's really cool like a really cool design like um, it reminds me of a World War one plane called called uh, Fokker Eindecker and I really like the, that plane because it was the first monoplane and it was the first plane to have geared synchronization so it could fire through the propeller because there was the gun was here so uh, if the it wouldn't destroy the propeller um, so yeah it's also got a little bit of a cockpit and stuff so you can put a little Lego man or something in there <laughs> oh yeah it could do like loops and stuff because it can go up up which is the basic thing for a loop like you just need to go up and just hold the um, stick to go up and stuff and it would just go um, if you put um, ailerons on it, it which you can do because flight test have a video on how to put it make it a four channel plane well, planes are free channel into four channel. Um, then you could do barrel rolls and stuff, but because we're just learning how to fly, um, we'll just stick with a free channel plane. See, we could actually take off from the cricket match as well. We've got the video camera out. Is that good luck or bad luck? Good luck. Okay. 
Right, so you give your servos a test. Good landing. <laughs> right. <laughs> so about maybe there would be a good. By the time you get it to half throttle, you'll feel it. Maybe you should put it straighter. So just little bits of input on the on the stick. Yeah, maybe I might just get it straighter. Okay. Remember, we can fix anything. Right? Yeah. Don't stress. Have fun. Bit more. <laughs> there you go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful little input. The beauty of it is because it's so light when it stalls it'll recover really well. Yeah, this thing wants to climb. Yeah. Oops. Um, the the thing that connects to the rudder so that the servos in here can pull this and it makes this turn. You so, happy? Yeah. It was better than I thought it was going to go. I thought it was going to go whoop. <laughs> <laughs> you did well, buddy. Well done. I think it's a bit more stronger than the DL1. It is. It is a lot stronger than the DL1. Foam board. Uh, thanks for uh, watching my video. Um, if you liked, like, and if you want to see more, you should subscribe. Um, you should also watch flight test videos and stuff and support their channel as well because they've got some really cool stuff they've made a flying toaster well, yeah so yeah <laughs>